Martian matter, Martian matter. Greetings, Earthling. Actual gray alien here. Huh? And welcome back to another out of this world card unpacking. All right, enough of that. I'm just I'm just getting milk everywhere. It's it's not worth it. Anyways, today we're going to be alien hunting. Alien hunting, alien hunting. Nah, just kidding, silly Billy. Today we're gonna be opening a Elite Trainer box, specifically Brilliant Stars. And Brilliant Stars is a set that came out, I believe, somewhere around 2022. It's been a long time coming, but I'm finally ready to open it. And there's a lot of good cards in this set, but there's only a couple of chase cards I wanna get, but we'll go over that later. All right, all right, I know this sounds bad, but Sorry again for the lack of uploads. You know, I don't make money on YouTube. Why would I? <laughs> YouTube doesn't really give money to people anymore. I pretty much work full time to support myself. I, like a couple months ago, I moved out of my mom's place, so. I live alone and now I have to uh, integrate myself into society and work and go home and sleep and then work and then go home and sleep again. But good news everyone, um, all this money that's been coming in from me working, I was able to completely upgrade everything. The frame rates look, oh, how uncanny. And I also got a new camera, a new tripod, a new light, and a shoe mount. Can't forget the shoe mount. And I got a, a fucking uh, Blue Yeti mic, which I've decided I'm not going to use it for this video. I just want to test out this camera's built-in mic and see how it is. But judging from my previous clips that I recorded, it sounds a little bit bad. Yeah, but this was kind of like my old setup. I had this uh, small tripod I used to put on my table and this uh, Sony camera. I'm not sure what model, model it is, but you know, it served me well. I'm just glad I can finally upgrade and stop using these primitive tools. So yeah, hopefully all these new upgrades are noticeable. I really want to improve the quality of my videos because for the longest time I just had a cheap camera. And yeah, now you guys can hear me stutter my words like a Neanderthal, but like in better quality. All right, sorry, back to um, back to Brilliant Stars. So the chase cards that I mentioned earlier. Yeah, we're gonna start off with a Wormadam, uh, Sandy Cloak. That's uh, going for about a whopping $100 in a PSA 10. I am not making this shit up. And the second card we're gonna wanna pull is a Nose Pass because he's got a funny nose. And hunts without twitching a muscle by pulling in its prey with powerful magnetism. But sometimes it pulls natural enemies in close. That's kind of scary, actually. Like, just imagine, like, a hungry nose pass pulling in a small durant into its hungry maw. That's kind of like a scary thought. I don't, I don't want to think about that too much. The last card we're going to want to try and get is another Wormadam, I think, in the uh, Trash Cloak. Yeah, that's going for about a $300 in a PSA 10. That's... That's really crazy chat. Uh, I'm just kidding, I just made those numbers up. But the uh, nose pass thing is true, I, I really do want a nose pass card. Also, before we open this box, don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps the channel out, and if you don't like and subscribe, uh, the gray aliens will come to your humble abode and do experiments on you. Also, uh, don't forget to put holes on the top of the box so the uh, bugs can breathe. We got a beautiful artwork of the Arceus on the front, or how's the kid in my neighborhood used to say, Arceus. I think they said that in the movie, I think they called it Arceus in the English name. Just gotta take a little off the top. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, looking good. <laughs> looking real nice. All right, all right, enough of that tomfoolery. Let's just, ugh, just rip it off. Ugh. Oh, there's also uh, some scratches on my box. That's weird. Just kidding, guys. I know that was me that scratched the box. I literally did it five seconds ago. But all right, let's just move this out of the way. To reveal 
a nice artwork of Arceus. And it appears we have some contents within the uh, outer shell. Wait, 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 wait. Guys, guys, check this out. <laughs> Crunchy. All right, we got the uh, the player guide, which I believe Brilliant Stars introduced V-Star cards, which, again, I don't play the TGC, so I don't know how V-Stars work. Here's the beginning of it. Uh, train hard, choose your Pokemon, or, yeah, choose your Pokemon companions, and take the journey of an elite trainer. I'm choosing those pass. And yeah, pretty much just uh, teaches about you uh, teaches you about new combos like the combos you order at Taco Bell. I'm more of like a Crunch Wrap Supreme guy with a Baja Blast. That's all I really need. And if you look in the uh, secret tunnel, you can see that there is beautiful artwork. There is Whimsicott, Charizard, Shaman Skyform. Arceus and Whimsicott again. All right, um, let's just uh, take the top off. Oh, oh, there goes the grasshopper that was in the box. Good thing I poked holes in there. And we got some cardboard. Mmm, cardboard. I used to know a kid in my neighborhood, well, we're still friends, and uh, he used to chew on his GameCube controller wire and his DS stylus, like, that guy was eating good. But anyways, we got the, the rules, we got the uh, fat stacks of water energies, this is an extreme thirst. Oh no guys, I uh, <laughs> spilt my water all over. Alright, what else do we got? We got some, some sleeves, and if my camera would just focus, uh, I think that's as good as it's gonna get, but, ooh, we got the gold-plated back, that's pretty, pretty cool. And it says, contains 65 card sleeves, well, that's a lot of card sleeves, and the, uh, the funny thing about these card sleeves is I've heard they actually, uh, like leave residual markings if you use them so yeah probably not a good idea to use these but again i i don't know i just read that somewhere online so it might not be true and we got some little bookmarks or some dividers with lovely artwork of arceus twins and we got the code card we got the uh, V-Star plastic cardboard thing, which I guess you use for V-Star cards. Which I don't think are, is in the meta now, but then again, my knowledge on Pokemon card, like the actual game, is very limited. And finally, we got the booster packs. I have some bad news. We're missing the dice. Like, here, let me show you. Here's all the contents in the back and yeah we're missing the dice we were supposed to get a set of dice and I was gonna, I was gonna use those dice to say a joke about like how the uh they look like little Nesquik rabbit turds and I was gonna I was gonna do a story time but I, I can't really do a smooth transition now and it's because I'm I'm missing the dice I actually have no uh, idea where they went but fuck it anyway story time guys so one time me and my friend were just hanging out at this park this was just like our normal chill spot and we used to get into like a lot of chicanery here. But anyways, we saw this couple having like a nice date and they were just like having fun and being all cute and shit. And I was like, what the fuck, is this allowed? And me being, you know, the dumb kid I was, thought it'd be funny if I just like start throwing pebbles at them. Like, I don't know if my friend was in on it or he probably wasn't, he probably just thought I was an idiot. But anyways, I gather my stack of pebbles to throw at them and start like hiding in like bushes, trees, and even shrubs. But anyways, like I wasn't throwing rocks directly at them, more like at their feet. And as I was jumping from one bush to another, I noticed that one of the bushes in the middle of the clearing had like something in it. Like I heard rustling, but I didn't really think anything of it. I was like, oh, probably just like a small animal. And I was right. 
So anyways, as I was about to clear this clearing, this fucking rabbit just comes out of nowhere and just hits me dead on in the chest, like impacting me at like Mach 10 and then it just like falls over and I scream obviously. Like I thought it was like a small dog, like one of those crusty eye shih tzu things that girls always have. But no, it was just a rabbit. It, it just kind of twisted and contorted on the ground and then just ran off, but yeah. That was like the only time I've ever been attacked by a rabbit. And it, it probably wasn't attacking me, but yeah, that's crazy. And I think that's an old Chinese legend. Don't go throwing rocks at kissing couples at the park. Anyways, another thing I was gonna mention when I, if I had those uh, like Nesquik pellet looking dice is the uh, video by Pilot Red Sun. You know the one of like the uh, Nesquik rabbit and he's all like, I'm, I'm the Nesquik rabbit. rabbit. I'm, I'm the chocolate milk bunny. bunny. I give chocolate milk, I give to, the chocolate milk to the kids. I deliver the goods. I deliver the and goods. It just like slowly echoes out. I yeah, that's, I don't know, that just came to my mind recently. Pack number one, we got a Whimsicott. Looking all whimsical and mischievous. And yeah, sorry if the uh, commentary is a little bit bland today. I just feel under the weather. But actually, I feel like a Reggie Gigas with like slow start. Like when I start making videos or like recording, it just feels really awkward. But once I get back in the groove of things, it just feels natural. The uh, code card for all you TGC players. And uh, I came unprepared. I don't know how many cards I have to put to the front, but I'll uh, figure that out right now. Um, this is gonna sound funny, but I figured it out, but I can't remember how many cards I put in the front. But uh, anyways, we got the uh, fire energy. Ooh, it's hot. We got the, uh, the crawfish, a ultra ball. A Vibrava, and we got its pre-evolution Trapinch, a Piplup, the uh, penguin. I actually had a friend who uh, like picked up a penguin at the zoo and he got in trouble because apparently you're not allowed to do that at zoos. But anyways, we got a mushroom, have a fungus, we got a kitty cat, and for a reverse, wait, no, that's Duskull. Looking like he's, the, uh, he's in the Judgment Hall from Undertale. And okay, Ryolu for the reverse. And for our rare, just a Drugadon or Druddygon. Ah, I'm gonna fucking lose my marbles. Yeah. All right, uh, pack number two, we got our homeboy Charizard, the OG, the printed heavily chase card. Oh, fuck. Ow. I think I got carpet tunnel syndrome. My wrist just really hurt there. That's what uh, six years of being a cashier does to a motherfucker. Just... <sighs> Satisfying. All right, here's the uh, code card. I already shuffled these, and I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit lucky today. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna cut these cards in half and see if, <laughs> see if it was really worth it. Oh, this is hard. There we go. Oh my God, it feels expensive. You can just tell it was okay. That's enough. It's they've already been cut. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we got ah uh, oh no oh the corpish kind of survived. It actually looks like a corpish like cut the card in half with his pincers. But apparently we cut a whimsicott card. Where the fuck is the other end? Oh god, where the fuck is it? Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't worth it. I really like whimsicott. I'm kind of bummed out about that. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> ah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking lose my marbles, man. Just All right, <laughs> I'm not doing that again. Okay, 
There's four to the front. Two, three, four. Should be an energy. Uh, Illuminati. Got a bear tick. Like the Coca Cola polar bear. We got a Rosanian's backup with a lot of words. I'm not reading all that. Float Soul. Chimeco. We got a Gibble. Turtle. We got another Trapinch. And for our reverse. Never mind, it's just another Piplup. And for our reverse, we got a Star Raptor. And I see something good on the end, and it will be- Oh! Shit! The Double Whimsicott. Uh, good thing I didn't cut this one. Yeah, but that's kind of crazy getting two Whimsicotts in a row. Alright. One, two, three. Four. And also, my friend was just texting me about how he uh, had a salamander in his house. That's so fucking weird. Uh, there's a steel energy, but... Did you know, like, axolotl, like, salamanders can turn into, like, land-breathing salamanders? It's so weird, but just search it up. Like, axolotls are so cute, but they're, they're really interesting animals. And don't even get me started on cave salamanders. Those things are really crazy. Anyways, Gibble... Turtwig. Whoa! Yo! That's so sick! That's like one of my favorite Elite Four members. Uh, yeah, she... Wait, no. No, no, she's like the, uh... The Johto Poison Gym Leader. And, like, Koga's daughter. Yeah, that's sick. I really like spiders and other bugs. So that's... That's really dope. I'm happy I got that. I'm definitely gonna hard sleeve that. And our final card is just a... Whoa! Ah, 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 fuck this card! We got the uh, Wormadam's uh, Trash Cloak, the one that's like uh, 300 PSAs with a, uh, with a, uh, what is that? Uh, if my camera would just focus. Come on, focus. Uh, Matron's Anger. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what any of those words mean. And fuck it, um, Cave Spider Sound on the hard case. Alright, on to pack number... Wait, did you guys hear that? I wonder who's at the door. One second. I wonder who it could be. Huh. Looks like I got a package. Honestly, I wasn't expecting fan mail, but... <laughs> Let's just open it up, guys. So, we got a package from, looks like a Theodore J. Kaczynski fella. Huh, looks like he's located in jail. That's a bit odd. But anyways, looks like we got a note. Uh, wonder what it says. Uh, hi, I'm a huge fan of your card unpacking videos. I don't really watch YouTube these days, let alone any form of media. But anyways, I got you these Pokemon cards of bugs. Hope you like them. Much love, Big Ted. P.S. If you ever need any fertilizer for your beetle, hit me up. I got a lot laying around, winky face. Oh, and I guess that's uh, Big Ted. Well, thank you so much, Big Ted, and uh, let's see what uh, cards you got us. Looks like we got a Grubbin Reverse Hollow. Kind of looks like my actual grub, uh, which you, if you guys didn't know, I named him Chickalotta. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just watch the uh, last video. Not not the uh, cover of that uh, Viva La Vida. That's the, the video before that. And uh, I show off my pet grub. But yeah, anyways, Big Ted sent us a grubbin. Loving the grubbin. And he also got us a Radiant Charge Bug. Thank you, Big Ted. I, I really love the Radiant cards. I hope they make more of them. Kind of reminds me of like, the old Shining cards from the uh, Gen 2 sets. And our third card is, wow, that is a Vika Vault, the uh, full art. 
And that's, that's a really nice card. Thank you, Big Ted. You have a beautiful smile, by the way. Okay, for real this time, pack number five. And uh, what can we talk about right now as we unpack pack number five? Uh, I'm trying to avoid talking about like a lot of current topics because I don't want to date my videos. Like, you know when videos feel dated? And I, like, like, I'll like see a bunch of like old series I've never watched on YouTube of like Let's Plays, but like I can't stand them because like, I don't know, like it just feels like when someone talks about a topic and the video feels dated, it just feels like, like, I don't know, it's a weird feeling. I don't know how to describe it. But anyways, um, here we go. We got the uh, code card. One, two, three, four. But yeah, I'm trying not to keep my videos dated, so I'm avoiding talking about like current memes or anything new that's happening. Uh, but we got a water energy. But speaking of something new, uh, well, relatively new, is the uh, uh, Futurama got a reboot by Hulu, and uh, I watched a couple of episodes of it, and I thought it was pretty, uh, pretty okay. Like it actually like feels like Futurama. Like, you know when they reboot a show and it feels really different? But no, they did a good job rebooting Futurama. Like, it's, it's not perfect, but it's way better than the Comedy Central era. Anyways, we got some eggs. We got a Grimer. Y'all like Grime Step. We got a Sneasel. We got a Bidoof, Canada's national animal, I think. Uh, an Electabuzz. <laughs> he sounds really funny in the anime. Here, I'll, I'll play a clip of him right now. <laughs> and we got a Reverse Manaphy, and there is something good on the end. I see the little glimmer, and we got a... Oh! A Hollow Empoleon. really like the Hollow on that. Pack number six. My camera is about to die which is impressive. I know this video is probably gonna be like 20 minutes long, but I've been sitting here for like, I think four hours now just recording. Like my whole setup's a mess right now. Code card and speaking of topics, um, salamanders. What's your guys' favorite salamander? Wait, what the fuck? Um, I was not expecting that. I. <laughs> I don't know what to do, somebody call a scientist or something, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Alright, so it appears that this is just a V-Star card. <laughs> you worried about the wrong V-Card. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's so stupid. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That's not that funny, I don't know. Uh, so we got the, the double turbo energy. <laughs> uh, oh shit, we got a pro pass, a probo pass I mean, and Oh, those look like little chicks, like little babies. Little baby nose passes. I think actually in the Pokedex entry that these, uh, it states that these are actually like baby nose passes. So that's like a Pokemon you like hear about but never see in the games. So that's kind of cool actually. And sorry, the camera zoom is so bad. We got a Primplup. We can complete our Empoleon online. Uh, we got a Clink, another Pokemon I really like. I just like stupid weird looking Pokemon. That's just my thing. And we got a Dedene, we got a Cub Chew, bless you, Duskull again in the Judgment Hall, turn around kid. Uh, we got a Farfetch'd, I think I just, yeah, and then we got a, oh, what's with the uh, Twins theme today? Anyways, two Farfetch's, I got two Farfetch'd, and we got a, a Yusuke Q from the, uh, it's got the Fusion Strike. I think those are called stamps, but yeah. Another Pokemon I really like. I saw some uh, fan art of like regional variants of this thing and it looks really cool, like what people can come up with. Pack number five. Sorry about that, I went to go get some bubble tea. I don't know, I'll just, I'm just really craving boba and there's a lot of balls and spheres around, so that's Probably why. But anyways, pack number six, I think. Yeah, it should be number six. And let's see. There's the code card. There it is. And four to the front. And also, um, I was thinking of like, 
This, okay, this sounds crazy, but I kind of want to unpack Pokemon cards at like a haunted house. Like, I just, okay, so I've been watching this channel called like Nick and Ryan, and I don't really like believe in ghosts, to be honest. Like, there's not that much concrete evidence for me. Like, I've never experienced anything paranormal. Well, actually once, but that's like a story for another day, but I kind of just like, I don't know, ever since I was a kid, like, you know, when I was little, I believed in ghosts, so now I don't. But I, I've always wanted to go, like, to a haunted place. Like, the most haunted place in North America. And see if it's, like, see if I can actually, like, get scared or something. Which, I think it'd be cool if I went there. And also, <laughs> it'd be funny if I unpacked Pokemon cards. Like, I really enjoyed, like, going out in the, like, park or whatever and hiding those packs of cards. I kind of want to do more content like that. I don't want to be, like, uh, confined to this one space. And speaking of ghosts, we got Duskull, but yeah, who knows, maybe, uh, maybe that'll happen in the future. Well, I want it to happen, but there's, like, gotta be, like, a lot of planning, and I kind of want to get, like, some, like, quote-unquote ghost hunting equipment, if that makes sense. Uh, we got a Sneasel. Also, my camera's not focused. What the hell? Sorry. I'm not, I'm totally new to this whole focus thing. My old camera couldn't do this. And we got a... Ooh, a reverse uh, grassy cloak worm, madame. And for our final card, we got just a a mushroom, a breloom. Like I don't know. I think like unpacking one of these in a haunted house would be kind of funny. Yeah, I bought these today, and I plan on making a video eventually on these. Hopefully, I can get it out by October. And. Yeah, the, the whole like haunted house thing, it's, I gotta plan it and like gotta find locations and all that. I'm, I work full time, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult, but I definitely wanna do that in the future. All right, we got our last pack with our last bar of battery. That probably sounds, oh. I almost cut the card. That would have been bad. But like I was saying, that probably sounds nice, like all these sounds. A little bit of ASMR. But uh, here is the code card. And yeah, so far we didn't really get anything too impressive, except for that Ariados card. I think they're called like the uh, Trainer Art Gallery cards or something. No, no, I don't know, maybe I'm tripping. I gotta really do my research before I make <laughs> these types of videos. But anyways, uh, we got a grass energy. Again, sorry if my camera's not focused. We got a Cincino, a little chinchilla. We got another float soul, cleansing gloves. Oh, 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 we got the nose pass card. <sighs> Yay. Pick it up. Bet my money on a stupid horse, I lost that. So I ran out to the track to get my cash back. I just gotta leave this place with a big bag. So I found the fucking Jackie and I grabbed it Pushed him down to the ground and I punched him in his face Yeah, I stole his phone and put him in his place Me and the horse, we ran out of our place Then we took my horse back to my place Stupid horse, I just got out of the Porsche Lost some money in my bank account 